Caitlin Bennett, otherwise known as Gun Girl, is a gun-toting, uh, flag-waving, Donald Trump-supporting Republican Party edgelord who is mostly known for walking around her college campus with a gun and a graduation cap that says, come and take it. No thanks. You are a psychopath, and I will steer clear of you if I ever see you in real life. Um <laughs> Now, you know, ever since she kind of uh, rose to prominence by uh, doing this thing that's definitely not a publicity stunt, she has become a sort of political pundit, and she has actually collaborated with some pretty prestigious right-wing news outlets, such as Infowars.com. And um, she has a new gem that she wants to share with the world when it comes to policy proposals. She thinks that women shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Mike, isn't she a woman? That's right. She's a woman who thinks that women shouldn't be allowed to vote. This is her rationale. She tweeted out, Honestly, letting women vote in this country wasn't one of the best ideas. Females vote with emotion and overwhelmingly support democratic feel-good policies that take away our actual rights. I'd rather lose my quote-unquote right to vote then lose my right to defend myself with a firearm. Now, you know, inevitably, this tweet was met with backlash because it's extremely stupid. And she responded saying, lots of emotional responses to this tweet. As always, thanks for proving my point, everyone. Why are all of these leftist snowflakes overreacting? All she did was say that women shouldn't be allowed to vote. You triggered? <laughs> This is so stupid. This proves that chuds have no new policy ideas. None. This is the best that they can come up with. Taking away the rights of women to vote. So regress further. And, you know, the question is, where do you draw the line? Do you draw the line at allowing women to vote? Do you include um, gay people or black people eventually? Like, if you start at women, why just end with women? Why not extend that to other parts of the population? See why this is obviously dangerous? Um, not only is this a self-defeating argument, and I'll tell you why in a moment, it's immoral and undemocratic. So why would you advocate for something you clearly haven't thought this through, and you clearly haven't seen the inherent flaws in your argument, especially the one that you use to justify taking away women's rights to vote. Because as a friend of the show, Professor Darwin of Reeducation points out, this is logically inconsistent. If women are too emotional to vote, why would you then trust them with guns? And on that note, why should I trust your opinion at all? You are a disappointment. Anti-feminists are so cringe. Exactly. If you say that we shouldn't allow women the right to vote because they're too emotional, then by your own logic, if we extend that to you in this predicament, why should we trust you and your political judgment? Because maybe you're just being too emotional. Maybe you're just another hysterical woman who can't think straight. I mean, this is obviously completely idiotic. And I think that... This has got to be beyond the pale for the overwhelming majority of Republicans, including MAGA chuds. I'm sure that some of them will love this because the further you go to the right, the better. But I mean, who in their right minds would endorse this? If you are a woman and a Republican, then this is against your own self-interest. This is against the self-interest of all women, obviously. But I mean, why would you want this for yourself? Isn't the fact that you are a Republican dis proving your point because if there is a large portion of women who vote for republicans even if you know they're not in the majority doesn't that disprove your point your theory that women are too emotional because some of them reached the correct conclusion according to you you did so i mean this is just this is idiotic and the fact that i'm even entertaining this is just uh, i'm embarrassed for myself but i mean the thing is you just have to admit at some point that you are an authoritarian you believe in authoritarianism and you don't care about democracy i mean it was the right who cried for years about the authoritarian leftists on college campuses and look at them now literally advocating for outright authoritarianism to end democracy to protect her right to defend herself with a firearm i mean this is called creating a solution for a problem that doesn't exist. Even if we 
enact legislation that curtails gun rights to an extent so psychopaths, maybe such as yourself, shouldn't be allowed to have guns, that doesn't mean that people will lose their right to defend themselves. It's codified in the Constitution. We're not going to take away guns. You guys were saying Obama would take away guns for eight years, and he never did. So when is this going to happen? When are government officials going to knock on your door and demand that you give up your weapons? And you say this now of all times when Donald Trump is president. I mean, your team is winning. Do you think Donald Trump is going to take away your guns? So, like, how stupid do you have to be to think that you should give up your right to vote because women are too stupid to make the right choice, but you're in power. Donald Trump is president. So <laughs> why are you freaking out? I mean, this is just, it, it's hilarious, but it really shows you how intellectually bankrupt and immoral, quite frankly, and authoritarian the right has become. This is the modern MAGA chud. Maybe she's not representative of all MAGA chuds, but this level of uh, delusion and stupidity is rampant. It's, it's a common thing with all chuds they just they are reactionary they're emotional and you know i'm not saying that they shouldn't be allowed to vote because they're emotional as she would advocate but they react to things that scare them right they react to immigrants they react to muslims they react to the prospect of losing uh some gun rights and then they extrapolate and think it's going to lead to them losing all their gun rights like you're just a bunch of scaredy cats with big mouths that's what you are. Like, you claim that it's the left who are the real pussies, but you guys are the ones that are afraid of everything. You think the government's going to take away your guns. You're afraid of lef leftists who are supposedly violent. I mean, the right at this point in time is such a self-parody that when we look back in history at this moment, the modern right, especially chuds, are going to be so laughed at that it, I can't wait to see that. So, I mean, all right, just just own it. Just admit that you are an authoritarian and kind of crazy. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>